Hey, my fellow Oregonians. It's a beautiful day out here in Eugene with the sun going on. Um, I just wanted to make this video because this is infuriating me so much. All right, I go to the University of Oregon here in Eugene, Eugene, Oregon, and I just wanna say the school is amazing. I absolutely do love it. Great academics, great teachers, um, really great sports and everything. But what I really absolutely hate about this school, what I hate, 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 is the parking. <laughs> I just bought a um, a little, you know, student uh, um, parking pass for the first time here. I paid like three hundred and something dollars because it's like thirty-two dollars a month to be uh, to have a student parking pass. So I paid all the way up until June of this year, 2018. And I'm really excited I got this pass because I was sick and tired, sick and tired of having to go in Eugene, like two to three blocks away from the school is two hour parking. Everywhere around the school is either paid parking or two hour parking. And if you're like one of the students like me, where you have classes back to back and you have 10 minutes apart in between, you do not have time to run out, run to your car, and go move it so that way you can run back to your next class and not worry about getting a ticket. I can, I do not, oh, I have had so many tickets from like having my one class that's an hour long or 50 minutes long and then having to run over to my next class which is like an hour and 20 minutes. And they come around pretty quickly and they give you a ticket on your car and then it's just like, are you kidding me? You get so many parking tickets from this. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna suck it up and I am going to buy a student parking pass, which I did, yay. And I'm like, okay, like they give you like a little map, which I will show you. They give you like a little map and the yellow spots are where student parking is, right? Here's our lovely map that they give you. I'm trying to hold it, right? Look at all the yellow spots. That is only for students, okay? Only for students. And these are supposed to be spots where you can park. But now, in each lot, the student parking is not just for students. It's for students and faculty. There's no single student lot. And this pisses me off because when I get there, I drive an hour oh, every day, Monday through Friday, to come to school because I am a commuter. And every single time I'm driving, I get here, I leave at 7.30 in the morning to get here by 8.30. So then that way I can go to my class at night. So I give myself a half hour to go around and look for parking, parking spots. And... <clears throat> I could never find any parking because they reserve spots for service vehicles, um, they reserve spots for faculty, they reserve spots for anybody else. And it's so annoying because then the spots fill up and there's no, not a lot of people come back to the car and leave. You know, they're at school all day. And I'm like, what's the point of buying this student parking pass if I have to keep making loops around and around, waiting, hoping, dying for somebody to come back to their car and leave. And that way I can get their spot and be able to go to class. That half hour, that half hour, I am basically driving around trying to find a parking spot. And I end up having to be like where I'm at now, which is like a meter parking and pay for parking. I don't have money. I spent that money on getting the stupid parking pass in order so that I don't have to pay for meter parking. But yet, I'm still having to end up paying for meter parking because nobody leaves the spots. I honestly believe University of Oregon, for how much money they get from their alums and supporters and everything, the students, they should be able to build a fucking parking lot, a parking garage. 
Okay, parking garage where like levels one through three are student parking, one through four even. And then five through seven is faculty parking. That is what they really need to invest in because this is bullshit that I have to pay, I think it was $328 because it's $32 a month just to have a parking pass that I can't even use. I am very lucky every day that I can get a parking spot that's in student parking. I don't have time in between classes to be running out to go move my car every two hours. I've been trying to find other solutions and there's none. I could try taking the bus, but then like I still have to pay for parking around Eugene. And I don't want to have to go pay for another permit. This is stupid. I rely on the University of Oregon to be able to give students a place to park. Especially like commuters, people who are coming from long distances to be able to come and attend this university. And honestly, I do love this university. I love, love this, I love this school. I really do. I have great teachers. The classes are amazing. The sports are great. But I just absolutely hate this parking. This thing needs to get resolved because there's not enough spaces for students to park. There's not. And I don't want to have to keep spending money on meter parking or having to pay for tickets which pile up and they can affect you. And I don't like that. I relied, I paid this much money to have a student parking pass to be able to park. And when I went to go talk to the transportation and people who supply these parking passes, I think it's the office of, University of Oregon Office of Transportation. I went and talked to them about this. And they're like, well, you need to get here a lot more earlier because a lot of lots fill up a half hour before nine o'clock. And I'm like, I get up at 7.30, uh, at seven, to leave by 7.30 to get down here. I don't have to get up at six. That's my time I need for sleep. I don't want to risk my sleeping time so that way I can get here early just to get parking. That's ridiculous. It pisses me off. So everybody, I just want to forewarn you if you're planning to come to University of Oregon or if you're already here and you're thinking about getting a parking pass or you already have one, please save your money. Use, set aside that $300 to $500 that you're going to spend on a parking pass. Save it so you can pay for meter parking. Because that's evidently what you're going to have to do. They have so many meter parkings around this school that you have to pay for. I would honestly say save that $300 to $500 that you're going to have to pay for and use it for meter parking or use it for tickets that you're gonna get from parking out there and not having time enough to go run back to your car and move it. That's what I'm gonna have to say about that fact because this is ridiculous people. University of Oregon really needs to get their act and shape it up and basically just build a parking garage. You have the money, you have the funds, why aren't you doing this? So don't buy parking passes everybody, please. Just use that money that you're gonna use to buy a parking pass and use it for meter parking. That's honestly the best way you're gonna use that money. So I'm sorry about this rant, but I, it really needed to come out. So, love you ducks. Have a good rest of your winter term. All right, Mwah. peace out. Mm -hmm.